can't wait to have you over and show you my seasonal decor. So today we are doing the winter home tour, as you probably saw, but you may be wondering, what is winter decor? I thought that that was during Christmas. So I got an amazing comment from our member of our community, Jay Smith, that just, she did such a beautiful job explaining the winter season and why I decorate for winter. I wanted to share it with you. I live in the Northeast and fall and winter are my favorite seasons. I'm looking forward to a winter home tour because so many people associate winter with Christmas and usually do a holiday home tour which is filled with Christmas decor. Winter is so much more than that. The season has its own beauty and serenity that lends itself very well to resting, replenishing, and restoring the soul. And I could not agree more. How I started decorating for winter is I lived in Denver for six years and after I put away my Christmas decor, it kind of felt weird to just go right into Valentine's Day. So it was snowing outside and I really felt like I wanted my home to reflect January itself. And January is such a time for reflection and restoration after potentially busy holidays like Jay Smith said. And so I started developing my winter decor. I decided I wanted it to be, wanted it to be primarily white based because white is such a blank slate and a brand new year really lends itself to that feeling of a whole new canvas to paint on. And then of course there's, it's snowing for some of us, not for me here in LA. So I have to make my own winter, but that's fun too. And then also I incorporated blue because as my paper and glam planner girls know, blue is our January color of the month. So that's the inspiration for today's home tour. So let's walk around. And one more thing I want to point out before we get to the actual decor is I want you to notice the transitions. So if you saw the Christmas home tour, then a lot of what you see today is going to look familiar. And that's very much by design. I really feel like life is so much about being good in the transitions and my basketball fans will know a lot about that but you know whether we're transitioning from jobs from one job to another or in relationships or in just seasons of life being good in those transitions is so important and taking that to seasonal living i think half the battle is getting the transitions right right like taking down our fall decor to get up our christmas decor that can seem a little bit overwhelming. So I have tried to make my transitions really, really seamless and to take it out to a macro level for paper and glam. Like you see that reflected in our, in our collections. The collections really transition from one color to another and from one kind of seasonal vibe to another. And I try to replicate that same feeling in my home. So without further ado, let's take a tour. a snowball wreath from CB2. I got it on clearance last year during their Christmas clearance and I thought it was just a perfect, warm, welcoming, cozy entryway for winter. I keep my entryway table nice and clear this season, this time of year because I like to keep that blank canvas vibe like we were talking about in the intro, but I do have a January blue candle burning it is Endless Weekend, which is one of my all-time favorite scents from Bath & Body Works. Still have a nice, warm, welcoming entryway, even with just a candle and a wreath to set the tone for the season. On this dresser, where we actually keep a lot of our inventory, I like to decorate it and film in front of it, which you saw in the intro, but on the left side, I have lots of winter decor, including the trees you saw in the winter home decor. They were part of the Glam Christmas Tree Farm, and then a snowflake ornament that I got on clearance at Hobby Lobby that was all the, all the same colors, and some bottle brush trees from the dollar section of Target, and then my pink Kate Spade vase, which is on sale. I'll link that below for you guys. And then just some LED taper lights from Cost Plus World Market. And then right below those are some ice skates that are actually ornaments as well, but since they were January blue and glittery and match what we're going for, I pulled them out of my Christmas decor and just left them up here on the backdrop. On the right side and just below our February dashboard that's hanging up, 
have a little nod to the February collection since that's what we are shipping and working on right now as far as getting it up to you guys and getting some fun videos up around it. So I have Museum Eaters Decor here with the dashboard and one of our fun boxes, box stickers, we call them the boxes because they're beautiful little seasonal scenes that we illustrate from last February or previous Februarys and then more fun trees and uh, some twinkle lights too. This feather tree I got from Z Gallery, another after Christmas find. They still have them, they're called feather trees and uh, I saw they were on sale for $19. I'm not sure if they still have them like right this second but they definitely still make them so you can watch for them on clearance next year. But I love keeping it out all the way through uh, Valentine's Day, just it's, a nice transitional piece that works for December, January, and February. So a nice three month run for this tree. My wine bottles are dressed up for winter in the kitchen. The first one is wearing ice skates and then Two in, she's wearing a mink stole, which you may have seen in the Christmas home tour, but that's another piece I just like to leave up. I like to make my wine bottles festive. It's a little nod to my home in Napa. On the stove, of course, I always have my teapot ready to work. It actually says whistle while you work on the spout, which I think is really fun. On the other side of the stove, I have a January Blue cookbook. It's Martha Stewart's Essentials or something like that, along with a sweater weather candle and I love that it matches the cookbook and it's got some serious January vibes. As soon as it came out a lot of you said this looks like it was designed by Paper and Glam and I thought the same thing so I actually got two of them because otherwise I wouldn't want to burn it. I just love the Paper and Glam pink birdies carrying what looks like Valentine's and it's just perfect for this time of year. Then I put my snowflake cupcake papers out and layered a bunch of different cupcake papers that have all of our January seasonal colors. Hanging on the stove, I have a dish towel that Lamb Mom gave me, but I thought it was a nice one to transition to Valentine's Day since it has both January colors as well as our February colors. On the sink right now I'm using basil dish soap. It's one of my favorite Myers Clean Day scents. I am very vigilant about making sure all of my cleaning products are non-toxic and naturally made and so Myers is one of my favorites. We talked a lot about this actually in the last vlog but basil I think is a nice scent for the winter but if you guys have found one that is even better whether it's Myers or some of the other great brands let me know but chose basil for my kitchen this January. The January coffee station is a simple one. We have some peppermint marshmallows that were with us for the December tour and I thought they were fun A because of the color and B because marshmallow day or excuse me hot chocolate day which goes great with marshmallows is January 31st so they're a fun little treat and we have some peppermint hot chocolate to the right of the coffee maker here and that is the perfect pairing. I have a nice little hot chocolate day celebration planned for Team Glam. And we have some silver and gold straws to go right in it. We did such a cute illustration of that for hot chocolate day in our January collection. And then I have a mug that I got many years ago in the Target dollar spot that is wearing a sweater. And inside my coffee grinder, in case you're wondering what coffee I'm drinking, it is Bones Fresh Vanilla. French vanilla, excuse me. <laughs> sipping some winter wake-up tea which you gals taught me about in the paper and glam seasonal living group on Facebook good looking out sisters I don't know we see all the fun seasonal stuff at Trader Joe's and Target which are some of our favorite seasonal haunts because LA man you got to jump on it I got the very last box so thank you guys for that it's ginger and it's so warming it's perfect for this time of year hence the name winter wake up tea and I am reading our January read which is how to get glam done as we've been calling it and I got a new candle on 
well, it's actually not a candle. I've been calling it a candle, but it's a lit up LED tree. You might have seen it in the Christmas home tour, but I got that one on clearance at Pier 1, and it's another nice transitional addition for this year. To the right, there is my snowflake pillow that Glam Mom got me from Target a few years back. It's kind of my big giant piece for this room. It's an oversized pillow. I'm not sure if you can get a sense of the size on camera, but it's it's got some serious size to it. And it's resting on a new addition for this year, which is a faux chinchilla throw from Z Gallery, another clearance find. They were having a big old end of year sale, so, and I'd been eyeing this one. Miss Sunday the Bear has one on the bed, but she she stole it as soon as I adopted her. So that one, it, it, get, it takes a beating. So it was nice to get a new one because now she has one and I have one. On the ottoman slash coffee table, I've got some more white flowers, a teal Kate Spade vase, a bottle brush tree on the left, and then the magic in the air candle, which is a favorite of mine. And the scent is hard to describe, but I would highly recommend it if you haven't tried that particular scent. And I just love how it matches the vase. My favorite winter movies for our winter movie night are Frozen, of course, and then Beauty and the Beast, my all-time favorite movie. It just has some really beautiful winter scenes in it, as well as that library scene, which, well, A, is good anywhere, any year, but especially in the winter. It reminds me of them going out and like playing in the snow after being in the library, and that scene where she gets stuck in the snow with the wolves and the castle that's all frozen until everything gets brought back to life. On my dining room table, I keep two taper candles. They're white for January, and I like to just keep this area nice and clear so it's ready for the next project, the next planning session, or it's ready for Team Glam to come in and start glamming so hard. brand new planner cover which comes from our February weekly kit which is Legally Blonde inspired so it says what like it's hard and uh, then I have a, another pink bottle brush tree I like to keep my desk clear similar to my table which is Team Glam's desk but I like to do it just a little nod to the season to keep me nice and grounded on the left of my desk I have our 2019 in books all lined up ready to go plus some reading that I have already done or in progress. So I read Made, which was the book of the month pick for this year, or excuse me, this month. I picked Made, I guess you could have picked from four titles or is it five? And then I also just recently picked up the library book, which was Reese Witherspoon's pick for January, but I'll be reading it next month since I just snagged it. And then on the bookshelf in front of my desk. I've still got all my 2018 books lined up. I want to photograph my year in books and get them added to Goodreads and then I'll put them back in the shelf and switch my 2019 books to that location. Here are my bookshelves. I just have two more bottle brush trees. You're getting a sense of my theme. I just love these things and I leave them up all the way up through Easter. You'll see how I make it work. Not the silver and black ones, but the more springy looking ones, they're going right in my Easter village, girlfriends. Just wait till you see the glam Easter egg hunt. Anyway, so just a few trees in here and that's enough, you know? bathroom I put out some blue hand soap and it's a French name that I had to look up it's flower of the sea you might remember it from last year's winter home tour in the middle of my sink there are white roses and I put out a little white cupcake I thought it was fun and just a little something different right there and then lastly in my bathroom 
There are some winter bath bombs. You might remember when we did our Christmas Lush haul, I always save half of my holiday bath bombs for winter, so it's kind of something new to look forward to for January. And so I have a snowman, a pink mountain, a pink snowflake, I think that one's my favorite, and then a snowflake spinner for lots of winter bath time fun. In my room, the main thing I have to show you that's new is my new duvet cover. I got a really pretty February pink duvet. It's a beautiful muted tone for the winter and I thought it would be a fun addition for, you know, February of course, since it's our February color and it's just nice and cozy with Sunday's blanket, which she tends to play on during the day. On the nightstand on the left of my bed is exactly the same from the winter, excuse me, the Christmas home tour. I left my trees up and all the things up. The only thing that's different is there's no stocking singing down. Same goes for the right side. This nightstand is the same as Christmas as well, except that I am burning an in the stars candle, which is gold and pink and just matched with all of the decor. And then the silvery branches are lit up with twinkle lights. That's a wrap on the 2019 winter home tour. Girlfriends, isn't it crazy to see how far we've come in a year? Chelsea and I were watching the winter home tour this morning from last year, and it's just amazing to see just how Paper and Glam has grown, how I've grown, and and I'm sure how you've grown too and how much the community has grown. So I, like I say at the end of every video, I feel like I just feel like there's magic in the air. And I love that I have that candle on during this tour because it just feels like changes, changes on the way. And we have so much coming up this year to share with you. And yeah, thank you guys for just joining me on this journey. I can't believe it's our fifth year together. And we hired a new member of Team Glam this week. So got me some help with packing and shipping so I can spend more time with you. And yeah, I think that's all the life updates I have for you today. Go snag your February collection so we can plan for February together. And the March collection releases on the 1st. We release a brand new collection every 1st of the month. So February 1st is March, March 1st is April, and so on and so forth. So forth. So thank you guys for spending a piece of your day with me, all your support of the shop, and just chatting with me in the comments. Until next time. Bye.